Welcome to the MPL Goal Show, the show where we bring you all the action from across the Northern Premier League. We start at Ashton United, who were hoping to climb into the top five with victory at home to Leek Town. The Robins were in buoyant mood following their win at Stockton Town seven days earlier, and three points were heading their way once again in this one. Darius Asai's goal shortly after half-time, all that separated the teams. On to Croft Park, where Michael Connor took charge of his first home game as Bly Spartans boss. Any ideas of a dream start for the former Bly's town manager were quashed after half an hour, Montel Gibson firing Matlock Town ahead. It was two just after the break, and Ramey Campbell with the easiest of finishes from close range. And it got worse for Spartans five minutes later, Reese Kendall charging the ball down, then providing the finishing touch. In second half stoppage time, the route was complete. An assist for goalkeeper Cam Mason, and a second of the afternoon for Gladiators forward Gibson. 4-0 it finished. Broadhurst Park played home to FC United of Manchester and Workington, as the division's worst home record faced off against the team with the fewest points on the road. It was the visitors who started the quicker in this one, Captain Stephen Rigg heading home Kai Nugent's free kick. The response was quick however, Jordan Buckley flicking home his seventh goal of the season. And if that was good, Adam LaFondra's goal was even better. <laughs> FC United seemed destined for all three points, but it wasn't to be for Mark Beasley's side, as Workington earned a penalty late in the day, with Rigg keeping his cool from the spot to earn his side a point. The pick of the weekend's action came at Nethermore, where two of the teams who started the weekend in the top five faced off. Geisley were looking for a third win and clean sheet in the space of seven days, and a penalty shortly before the hour mark from Will Longbottom saw them ahead. Soon after, Longbottom had his and Geisley's second of the day. They climbed to third, 13 points adrift of leaders Macclesfield. Next stop, Craig Park, where Morpeth Town and Lancaster City faced off. Both started the weekend in the top half, but in Aaron Bennett, Lancaster have a player bang in form. He struck first after 75 minutes, this sublime volley opening the scoring. Game set and match deep into added time, Leon Gibson Booth unfortunately turning the ball into his own net. 2-0 it finished to the visitors, who rise to 8th in the table. On to Prescott Cables, who were looking to end a run of three successive defeats. They broke the deadlock in this one, after a moment that Hyde United goalkeeper Callum Hiddleston won't want to see back in a hurry. Midway through the first half, Jack Redshaw struck for the Tigers, earning them a point on their travels. Our final action of the round comes from the Yorkshire coast as Whitby Town hosted Mickelover. As far as starts go, the visitors couldn't have asked for one better. Jake Bennett firing them ahead inside four minutes. But that would be as good as it got for Mickelover, who came into this one without a win in six. The leveller came 15 minutes before half time, Aaron Haswell rifling the ball home on the rebound. and it got better for the Seasiders when Stephen Walker made it 2-1 shortly before the break. Then deep into first half stoppage time, Nathan Thomas's penalty gave Whitby some breathing space. The goals weren't quite done there either, Frankie Whelan heading home a fourth for the home side as they picked up their second biggest league win of the season. 